here we are at Trinidad Lake State Park in Colorado, and we are looking at a momentous event in Earth's epic history. This layer right here, this was created the day the dinosaurs died out. So what we're looking at here, what we're sitting in, are rocks of the Raton Formation. And 66 million years ago, these were sitting at the edge of the Western Interior Seaway. The Western Interior Seaway was a shallow sea that extended all the way from the Gulf of Mexico up to the Arctic Ocean, and it split North America in two. And these rocks of the Raton Formation were created right at the edge of that seaway. So we have sandstones from the beach deposits, we have these dark organic rich shales and clays that were created in swampy areas. And 66 million years ago, what happened was down in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, a meteorite six miles wide collided with Earth. And when that collided, we had massive tsunami, we had wildfires, and we had a huge amount of debris get blasted into the atmosphere. And that debris landed all over the planet and created some of these layers like this. Now, back when, uh, oh, and that debris in the atmosphere caused intense climate change. So we went from the greenhouse climate of the Cretaceous when the dinosaurs lived to sudden catastrophic cooling. Now, when I was a kid, it was a big mystery what had happened to the dinosaurs. But then there were two scientists, Louis Alvarez and his son Walter. Louis was a Nobel Prize winning physicist and his son Walter was a geologist. And they noticed that these clay layers are found globally at the top of the Cretaceous. You can go to like places in Italy and you can see that. And they also noticed there was something special about that clay layer. And that's the fact it is enriched in iridium. Iridium is an element that is not common on Earth but it's very common in meteorites and asteroids. And so this made them think it was probably a massive meteorite that hit Earth, caused the end of the dinosaurs, and introduced this extra iridium that we have. So then people started looking for the crater created by this meteorite, because something big enough to cause the extinction of almost 75% of all life on Earth should have created a massive crater. Well, it was 66 million years ago, and so what ended up happening was that crater was buried. And uh, a, some years after the Alvarez's introduced this hypothesis that a meteorite caused the demise of the dinosaurs, uh, people doing geophysical studies in the Gulf of Mexico discovered a crater just the right age and just the right size to correspond with the uh, extinction event of the dinosaurs. So today we know that this massive meteorite helped kill off the dinosaurs. Now you might think it's a little sad that today we can't see dinosaurs roaming the earth, um, but in fact we actually do. Not all of the dinosaurs died out. Certain lines of them that are the birds today live on. So look in your backyard and watch those grackles and crows and ravens being all mischievous and strutting around and you're actually watching dinosaurs stroll through your backyard.